All right, this is part number two about this Citroën car. Uh, this is a very good car, but there is a problem with it. The problem with it is that <clears throat> I come to realize that the owner, the lady who sold me this car, a police itself, the, the, the people involved in this stuff, but really, you know where the damage with this stuff is. You, you, you're going to be surprised when you hear what I have to say about this stuff. Yeah, it was Americans, British. Make sure that you record this. Make sure that you record this. One time they brought me inside of the garage, drugged up, dark to see this car inside. The car was inside all the time. And I was, the guy was talking about, make sure that you record this stuff. Some American, white dude, make sure that you record this stuff. Had a few extra pounds, strong, about inch two taller than myself. Make sure you record this. Uh, what the fuck? What? Record what? And, yep, I looked inside of the car. And it appeared the car was just like you have seen right now. Covered with the mold. I didn't even know what it, what it was on the MK Ultra because I had never seen anything like this in my lifetime. And the next thing you see, it might have been even Belgian guy that closely reminded me of Not this one, but the guy with the beard. Uh, that has a few extra pounds. Uh, isn't it uh, this one here, Charles, Charles Michel, Belgian politician, this one, this one is not German, this, this one. Uh, appeared to me if it was this one I don't know which one it was but he had like a German dialect that he protested he said and now you want me to believe now do you expect me to believe this first he's a room and now you expect me to believe this yeah they were playing with mold inside of my room and they had scenarios and what they're gonna do if I'm gonna keep water inside of the room police officer guaranteed me if he ever gonna see a cup cups with the water that's gonna be left inside of the room that he's gonna go and he's gonna hey they give me the whole education about mold how you're not supposed to have it and we're playing with destroying mold not only in my room only but throughout the house eventually my dear mother became so fucking brazen using bleach so insane that she became sick and sensitive to sick for lifetime basically became chronically ill because of MK Ultra insanity during which somehow some way I managed to get away uh, she would bleach and bleach and bleach walls and do all kinds of stuff inside of the house till she finally got sick somehow some way miraculously i managed drugged up to stay away from her enough from her lunacy to not get sick myself during mk ultra 
Yep, this is the stuff that went on during MK Ultra. It's real. Now, but what's going to shock you? And it, that's why I think that this lady, this police officer who sold me this car, is mentally ill. And definitely is evil. What is going to shock you about this car sale is exactly what I stated to you about Americans. A Bosnian guy, That how I know that the car was most likely okay. Okay, I cannot say that what I have seen definitely was more. They could have done something to the car or whatever. Okay, but I have to say it appeared was mauled. Now, how the hell I know about this stuff that most likely was mauled? There was a Bosnian guy who also was involved. And he was into cars and stuff like this. And I don't, I have no idea why. But somehow the brainwash brought to the certain uh, conversation issue that we she make point out of it and i'm lucky i i'm happy he did by stating me that he would not buy this car anyways and i asked him how come why i said because the car is full of mold and so because i remember that this bosnian guy stated that the car was full of mold the car had a problem with the mold most likely the car had a problem, real problem with the moth. Now, where is the fucking problem about all this? Where the biggest problem is? The biggest problem is not even with the moth. The biggest fucking problem is that I have seen moth about a month ago and I didn't pay attention to it. And I'm not going to say to what I should because I couldn't believe that something like this is going to develop. It was not enough of a big issue for me to pay enough attention to it at the time. Somehow stressed from all other factors, I let it aside. I sidelined the issue, ignored one. And the biggest problem of them all is that if I would go right now and say, well, you know, a police officer was the one which was the case in my room that they sprayed the moth. It was the case in my room that they littered the water on the window. And this, just as they promised they would, using literally a notebook on which the waterfall was they placed one right at the window and poured the water all over that notebook to remind me of it. Now, if I would say that the car didn't have mold, it would be a fucking problem. Remember when I said Americans were the first that brought me to the garage and insisted, oh, you're going to record this, record that. Obviously, the lady, police officer lady who sold the car, left the car in the garage and departed someplace maybe for a month and a half month she would go like this abroad with me too to the u.s to other locations so the question here is what exactly was the intention and how to fuck me if i would say no there was a police officer who went and did the same shit like in my room spray the shit all over the room now, all over the car and this and that, which I almost did. I don't think I would look very sane, would I, by saying stuff like this based on what I stated. It would be a problem because the lady saw that the car like this, knowing that the car also had that kind of problem, also did not mention any any of that stuff even that it was like in the most friendly in the most honest way a sale that was done so quite a few problems and it's the kind of problems that can actually cost you even life 
this is not adding to credibility of an individual stuff like this if you make misstatement uh, and can actually really open some other issues in respect to an individual that's how dangerous that shit is that's why I say that she has some mental problems I see that this is not that that kind of stuff that this kind of thing so you you can mention individual right you can say something to individual that you had a problem with the mall or something like that that make sure that you know the car is on a dry place uh covered that you keep one dry and that you clean the dashboard you you alert you warn the person you you tell the person or something like this if he's your friend if he was involved in this and that not good stuff americans knew exactly the problem with the car everybody knew the problem with the car but the thing is they inspected the thing they logged it down they have written down and now I'm going to come and say, hey, there was a police officer who sprayed, by the way, uh, stuff he did, which I'm sure that the steering wheel, the way it was, the plastic, why haven't he done that on a fabric and so on? Because from the fabric, you can't get the fucking mold out. But from the plastic, yeah, you can wipe one away. You can wipe one from steering wheel and so on. Or through it, we'll find probably the way back. Still... Somehow, some way, you can protect yourself. So I know that is both. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Somebody did help that mod to spread onto a little bit more. The car is inside of the garage. The car always was on a place, non-humid, dry place inside of the garage that's what i'm gonna end with the stuff i ain't got nothing else to say but you got to admit this is one fucking issue from another all over the place never seen anything like this